It is an absolutely beautiful, kind of rainy, sprinkly fall morning here at Hogwarts, and uh, we have a very exciting uh, class ahead of us today. I've been looking forward to this moment for a very long time. This is our first Beasts class. We've got our uh, room of requirement. We can brew potions and plant plants, but we can't take care of beasts yet. Welcome, everyone. I see you've already met some of the many beasts we study in this class. Though be advised, none of these creatures should be taken lightly. They are all in their own way dangerous, especially if one does not know how to handle them properly. <laughs> now, it seems many of you are out of practice. Let's take some time to review the basics of how to care for a beast, shall we? Miss Sweeting, would you please assist our new student with the lesson today? Poppy Sweeting. Yes, Professor Howen. Hello, I'm Poppy. Poppy Sweeting. Sweetheart. Don't worry about Professor Howen's speech. She over-exaggerates sometimes. <laughs> All the beasts in class are perfectly safe. Oh! <laughs> Miss Sweeting, pay attention, please. The tongue of a puffskin can be a slippery devil. Uh, yes, Professor. Here. You can practice on Gerald. Just keep an eye out for his tongue. <laughs> How are you doing, Gerald? You can use my brush. Just be gentle. Oh, and think pleasant thoughts. I like to think it enriches his experience. So we want to add the beast petting brush to our spell set here, and then we can brush him. Oh, he likes That's that. That's lovely. I'm sure he feels much better. I think he might be hungry. Would you mind giving him some beast feed? So we can add that to our spell set as well. <laughs> what a good boy. What do you suppose the pellets taste like to Gerald? Pudding, I like to think. He's wagging think his little tail. I can safely say that Gerald likes you. That's good news. He seems very nice. He is. Kindness is one of his best qualities, right after ambition. And cleanliness. <laughs> we kind of have a Newt's Commander everyone. thing going on with this top hat. Now, let's make our way to the pens and select another beast. And please, do be careful as you feed and groom them. Miss Sweeting, why don't you show our new student to the measles in the farthest pen? This way. The measles are over here. The cat looking things? They look friendly enough. Got a little poofy tail on there. Oh, couple of these or whiskers ought to get me a few canuts at least. Enough to buy something from Honey Jukes. <laughs> oh, stupid thing. Oh. Don't do what that to him. What are you doing? Oh, tuss, tuss, peculiar poppy. Worried about a worthless little rodent? Her name is Persephone. <laughs> Her name is Persephone. <laughs> That's really not funny. <sighs> Let's go. What a D bag. Good girl, Persephone. How could anyone be mean to you? Those Wanna take whis anywhere near this whiskers class. off a nasal? Poachers and training. Persephone was on to them instantly. Thank you for your help. Let's carry on. Feed and brush the measles just as you did with Gerald. <laughs> the measles really took to you. They know a good egg when they see one. As do I. So we can't it appears our time brush has and come to an end. feed them at the Please same time. close the pens and see yourselves out. Now. Where is our new student? Ah, there you are. I would like a moment, please. Can I mess around with some of these other ones? Oh, we can go inside? Hi, little buddy. Look at the little one here. Uh, but yeah, these jury calls are dodo birds. They're, they're like, you know, dodos, we know those as humans. Apparently, they aren't actually extinct. It's just that they're magical and they can disappear, which is why we don't see them as often as humans. So, 
Kind of cool. We've got some Hello, real life Professor. animals. You wanted to speak world. with me? I did. How did you find your first beast's lesson? It was okay. It was wonderful. I believe I'm really going to enjoy this class. Good. You seem to understand that when beasts are properly controlled, they can play a vital role in our lives. Some provide us with magically imbued materials, if cared for correctly. So we can get which does ingredients not include that we torturing them for whiskers. Well done, by the way. Probably best to let me handle it next time. Yes, Professor. They're nearly as bad as the savages in Rookwood's poacher pack. <sighs> Sadly, we're the ones who suffer. Stumbling over dead beasts. Terrible waste of resources. Surely the poachers can be brought to justice by someone. The Ministry, perhaps? Hmm. An optimistic idea. Now, why don't we focus on more immediate matters that we can control? Professor Weasley has asked that I prepare some assignments designed to help you catch up to the other fifth years. Be on the lookout for my owl. Meanwhile, I also encourage you to study as many beasts as you can on your own time. I just want to get our vivarium so we can start taking care of them. Psst, psst. Over here. In our uh, room of requirement. Do you need something, Poppy? Thank you again for saying something to those brutes so that I didn't have to. You were an augury at noon in the desert. I certainly hope that's a good thing. <laughs> it's something my gran and I say. It means that something or someone is a welcome surprise. At least that's what we decided it meant. I couldn't stand there and watch them harm the poor thing. We're of a similar mind. Actually, in light of that, there's someone I'd like you to meet in the forest. Little Poppy well, goes sure. out to the Forbidden What's this Forest. All about? You'll see. I promise you have nothing to fear. I guess if she's friends with all these animals, she's I probably pretty well protected. Anyone there. In fact, you're the first. Really? Well, thank you. I think. As I said, we think alike. Pleasant surprise. Stand back. Hippogriff. What? Please meet High Wing. Isn't she just magnificent? Got to do our little. Go on, introduce yourself to her. Little bow. Be careful. You must always show hippogriffs the proper courtesy before you approach them. You magnificent beast. <sighs> That's so cool. I knew it. I don't think I've ever seen a hippogriff take to someone this quickly. You can feed and brush her if you'd like. I come and check on her every once in a while. Bring her pasties, tell her what's going on in the castle. You wouldn't know from looking at her. But she's a dreadful busybody. She is. This is. I, I could shed a tear right now. This is so cute. This is awesome. I can't wait to have some of these in our vivarium. She's beautiful. You're a good woman, Poppy. So, what did you think of High Wing? I thought she was brilliant. Can't believe you introduced me to her. I suspected you two might get along. Are you the reason students have been seeing hippogriffs flying above the Forbidden Forest? Hmm, perhaps. Did you know that once you earn a hippogriff's trust, they'll always be there for you? I've seen it firsthand with her. How exactly did you and Highwing cross paths? It's a longer story, but I rescued her from poachers a few years back. Got her to safety and, well, she was fine until recently. You may have noticed that poachers are something of a problem in the area, so I worry they could get her again, and that I might not be there next time. Professor Howen mentioned the poachers as well. 
She seems to imply that we couldn't rely on the Ministry to help. I don't often agree with Professor Howen, but on that, I fear she's right. The poachers' influence is growing. I see them every day in the village, lingering, talking to people. They're up to something. I'm just not sure what. Hmm... You may be reading into it. Talking to people isn't a crime. It's hard to explain, but something about it just feels wrong. I think I'm going to look into it. Find out what's going on. What they're doing. I think that's a fine idea. Information is power. I'll help and you the out. more I know, the better I can keep Highwing safe. You seem undeterred. Will you let me know what you find out? Oh, very well. I will. I should be going, but we'll speak again soon, I hope. Okay. So if we get beasts, so we can take care of them, we get their resources, then we can get the enchanted loom, which means we get to create clothing that makes us look a little bit better. Although, to be honest, this setup, it's not my choice, but at least it kind of matches. Our scarf matches, our interior matches the coat. Got the orange accents. I feel like we're doing okay now, but it's still could be better. I don't believe it. Today is a big day. We're working on beasts and we're going to go talk to the caretaker to learn Alohomora. I could not be any more excited about that. So it looks like he's going to be over here. We don't have any fast travel points. I guess we could fly over yonder. Sounds good to me. Here we go. This is cool. Okay, I've been looking forward to getting Alohomora for so long. We need it so badly. So many locations all around the world that you just can't get to unless you're going to be able to get through the locks. So, looks like we might finally be able to do something about that. Have that guide page, go inside. Oh, I love that. I have not been in the Great Hall yet. This is pretty magnificent. How y'all doing? It's like we've got a beautiful feast happening. This is not my table. Slytherins are going to be off to the side, right? Sorry, Gryffindors. This is more my uh, my vibe over here. But, um, all right, through the Great Hall. I haven't even been Brand through... Brand new game. Just beware the open flame. <laughs> We've got a, uh, a potential... Lumos. Oh. <laughs> gonna have a butterfly over here to be able to grab this and bring it... Revelio. ...where we need to bring it to. Owl Lectern! This enchanted lectern serves as a spot from which the great headmistress and headmasters of Hogwarts, as well as Professor Black, address the school. I love that. Implying he's not... not great. Lumos. Not. Okay. Like a moth to a flame, I'm gonna bring this back over here, but yeah, we haven't even... I gotta get that page as well. We haven't even been to... This side of the castle yet. Rebellion. And this thing here. The Great Hall ceilings. Ceiling of Great Hall has been bewitched to mimic the sky above the castle. That's pretty epic. Got a fast travel point here. Nice How have we made friend. it this far into this game? Having never even seen this side of the castle. This is like the, the main entrance and everything. Here we've got our house cup hourglasses. Look at this. You've got Hogwarts, Raven, a snake, honey badger, and a lion. Revelio. The Hogwarts architect. Shown here, surrounded by the four house mascots, designed and oversaw the construction of Hogwarts Castle alongside founder Rowena Ravenclaw, who is credited with creating its ever changing floor plan. Dude, how? This is the grand staircase. How have I not been on this side of the castle yet? We've got the staircase coming in. The path you walk is precarious. You should return to me often for guidance. How have I not seen this yet? Look at this. It looks like you can't make it up there, but as we get over there, the staircases are going to change. 
absolutely amazing, dude. This is fantastic. Okay. I could I could get lost just venturing around the castle all the time. I this this is unbelievable. Looks like we made it. This this game is is I just I can't I can't get enough of it. This is it's I could just walk around for ages. Hello again, Mr. Moon. Oh, I was hoping to see you again, my young friend. Uh, Gladwin Moon, Hogwarts caretaker. I need a little at more. At your service. First, uh, please allow me to apologize if I seemed a bit uh, unsteady when we last met. I'm afraid I had a rather disconcerting encounter. Although I hear your visit to Hogsmeade was even more eventful than mine. I suppose you could call it eventful. I certainly wasn't expecting a troll attack. Oh, of course not. Uh, and from what I understand, the village was lucky you were there. In fact, my recent visit to Hogsmeade is the reason I was hoping to bump into you. I could use your help with something. Yeah? Do you see that curious statue over there? Watch what happens when that light changes from day to night. So these are the demigod statues we've been seeing everywhere. I know there's some sort of a challenge. Now, if you wouldn't mind humoring me for a moment, see if you can remove the moon from the statue. Oh, odd little contraptions, aren't they? It seems the statue vanishes once the moon is removed, which incidentally can only be done at night. Interesting. Uh, why don't you hold on to that one for now, and I'll explain more as we walk. I know a couple Ever locations. Ever since that fateful day in the village, those curious statues have begun appearing about the castle. A fair number have been strewn around Hogsmeade. Someone, it seems, is trying to torment me. You see, that day in Hogsmeade, I turned a corner and came face to face with a boggart, or, or shapeshifter, if you will. Uh, which takes the form of whatever scares you most. This one took the form of a demigeist. Rebellion. A demigeist. Take a look at this. Honeyduke's passageway hidden behind the statue of a one-eyed witch is a secret passageway from Hogwarts to the cellar at Honeyduke's. can only be accessed using a particular charm. Terrifying creature that can see the future. Wholly unnerving. I encountered one when I was a lad in Korea. Terrible experience. They seem so nice. Uh, those statues are demigises. The moons, I assume, are an uninspired play on my name. Some jackanapes used a boggart to learn my greatest fear and use it against me. I have my suspicion as to the scoundrel or scoundrels responsible. It is my hope that they will slip up and reveal themselves as the statues disappear. That is why I need your help in removing the statues. Why me? A couple of reasons, frankly. Uh, first, your daring do against those trolls in Oxmead has gained you a reputation for fearlessness. <laughs> Second, as macabre and hideous as a demiguise is, most would find my fear of them unwarranted. You, however, have seen how they affect me. I'm at my wit's end, young friend. I, I simply can't bring myself to go near them. In fact, I know of two statues right here in the faculty tower. Uh, perhaps you could start simply by removing them so uh, I can go about my evening duties. He's that scared of a statue. Why would I do this? Seems all risk and no reward. Oh, rest assured, there's very little risk and there is, in fact, a reward. I will teach you a particularly useful spell. Uh, first, you know how to cast a disillusionment charm, correct? Mm. You'll want to do that before wandering the tower at night. Uh, next, you'll notice that the door is locked. However will you get in? Mm. Alahamora, that's how. But what about curfew? Curfew? Oh, tosh! I sense you're a bit like me when I was your age. Oh, the school was my oyster. <laughs> And I took advantage of it. Oh, everyone loved me for it. <laughs> oh, those were the days. Uh, now, I'm sure. you'll find one statue in the prefect's bathroom and the other in the hospital wing. Good luck. Oh, and thank you. I can't believe there are so many locations we haven't been to yet, but here we go. 
Alohomora. I have been waiting to learn this spell pretty much ever since we got started. Kind of work your way around a doorknob there. Go down. Alohomora. And now we have it unlocked. All right, so I'm going to say let's put a sneaking thing on. We're going to have a disillusionment. We're going to have Alohomora. I actually don't think you have to put it on your spell wheel. Alohomora. It just automatically does it. Okay, so there is a mini game here. So we're gonna get, there it is. We want to get both things, the green and the, the red glowing. And that opens well it up. Well done, you're in. Remember, use a disillusionment charm so no one claps eyes on you. This is a restricted area of the castle after all. A teacher telling me to sneak in. I'm in. All right, here we go. Let's do it. Looks like we got some people up above us. There's a doorway here. Revenue. Now we can really get into it. Now the thing is, is there are level one and level two locks. That's a level two lock. We're not going to be able to get that yet. However, I would imagine eventually if we do enough for him or collect enough of the statues or something, we're going to be able to get level two. Uh, Professor Fig, I am in receipt of your most recent owl. Apologies for the delay in my response. I am still receiving a good deal of correspondence regarding the introduction of the not-so-recent stooging penalty in Quidditch, which, in my humble opinion, has brought the game into the modern age. Astonishing, frankly, how many spectators want nothing less than seeing Quidditch keepers flattened entirely. As the topic of your recent letter, we at the Ministry assure you that any and all potential threats to wizard kind are taken quite seriously. I have made note of your concerns, and in as much time it allows, the Department of Magical Law Enforcement will ensure that matters looked into, schedule permitting. So they're not going to do anything about it. We value the opinions of esteemed wizards such as yourself, and you may rest assured that we have matters well in hand. You don't. Should you wish, I could have my secretary secure seats for yourself and a guest in this year's Quidditch final. I think you'd be delighted to see the results of a well-run and efficient government. Warmest regards, Ferris Spavin, Minister of Magic. He's more worried about Quidditch than he is saving wizard kind. Revelio. Casting Revelio reveals authority figures in enemy locations, allowing you to scout ahead or remain undetected. Yeah, that's why I was doing it. Pick this up. Reminder to staff, the Hogwarts house elves do an exceptional job of keeping the castle in order. They are seldom unprepared for any number of items that they might encounter each day. However, only the other day, an unexpected stash of wizarding crackers went off from behind a cushion. The cacophony was most untoward, engulfing one poor elf in blue smoke and giving those of us nearby an uh, abominable ringing in our ears for the rest of the day. I expect that the culprit was Peeves. Please keep an eye out and be careful. Looks like we've got a prefect here. Alohomora. And we've got a lock. Let's hurry up and get in this. Come on, we gotta get these things spinning. There it is. Unlocked. Was hoping he wasn't gonna turn around, but we're good. Oh. That was just the lock. I thought it dropped something important for us. My darling Abraham, you'd be overjoyed to know that the local children have taken to playing gobstones in the street just outside of your study window. They're quite charming, I must say. I noticed the youngest was without her own set of gobstones, so I lent her one of yours. I knew you wouldn't mind. I do hope things are going well at the castle. I'm relieved that you arrived safely. Dreadful story about that gentleman from the ministry. Was he really traveling with Eleazar? And a student? Simply dreadful. Do right when you have a moment. I'm most eager to hear stories of this year's summoner's court participants. Your students so adore you, my dear. So that's our charms professor. I think that's must be his wife. Got a Revelio. pot of gold in here. And a pinstriped scarf. And it's a level up, that's good. Are we good to exit? I love this. Sneaking around. Give me that. Don't mind if we grab that. Ooh. And that made noise. Is that Professor Sharp up there? Revenue.
Yeah, that's Professor Sharp. And Professor Weasley almost saw us right there. We're good, okay. Keep going. Be swift and be steady, but be quiet. Revenue. He almost saw us right there. There's the key cabinet. Shoot, the key, we didn't follow it all the way up here. This must be the prefect's bathroom. The prefect's bathroom, all right. Get this thing popping. Got it. It's nerve wracking when you're in this screen because they could be moving around behind us. Oh, wow. Revenue. One of those goblins comes near me, I'll hand him his hat. Or hell, my foot. Got the moon. My mark is Professor Hackett's class at Superb. I don't think that's what that I'm a little bit jealous. I wish we could be a prefect. Maybe in the uh sequel if there is one. Revelio. If there's anything down this hallway we want to go check out? Is this the key to this? I saw a key flying around earlier. It might be this one, though. It's gotta be. Okay. He's gonna go down to the end of the hall. We can grab this. Okay, or not. JK, we're good. We can get this. So, can we sneak around this in the daytime? It's kind of what I'm wondering. It is, is it going to be easier because people would be out and about and professors would be in class and things? Or is nighttime the best? Or I'd, Honestly, I have no idea. I kind of want to hit this, but I feel like it's a bad idea. But I think we're going to go ahead and do it anyway. We're going to grab our page, though. Oh, that was way too close. Fast travel point up here. My venom is tentacular. Not at the moment, no. Plenty of other perils and pitfalls to send them my way, though. Well, I suppose I should begin my rounds now. I suppose Professor Black knows best, but the students are terribly disappointed about Quidditch being cancelled. Overhearing the oh. teachers? I had planned to bet a few galleons on Hufflepuff this season. The teachers bet on Quidditch matches? Well, Ravenclaw. I know when I see a winning bet. And Ravenclaw would not have been that. Not this year, anyway. <laughs> I'm partial to Hufflepuff myself. What was that? What was what? I thought I heard something. Perhaps not. Anyway, I had high hopes for Hufflepuff. I was finally going to learn the Quidditch rules. It's That's amazing. Sport. Encompasses the whole of the human condition. Okay, let's... Uh, oh. How's that? We've got a page here, too. I'm going to collect this. I don't think we're going to be able to get that page because they're going to hear us, though. Rather a lot like life, isn't it? Oh, I suppose I should pay closer attention in the next match, if there ever is one. I suppose you should. Okay, I'm going to get out of here before they get done talking and they end up coming at us. That's exactly what I was worried about. The teacher's bets on the outcome of Quidditch matches. That seems really corrupt, but I love it. They got to have some fun too, right? Oh my goodness. That's crazy. This was one of the coolest missions I think I've ever done. Oh, we got Sharp over there. Revelio. Be able to grab this field guide page. Jewel encrusted tortoise shell. Many assume this to be the shell of a fire crab native to Fiji. However, those in the know swear it's a bejeweled tortoise shell created by a mad wizard near Versailles. When his chateau was overrun by Nifflers, the dazzling shell was carried off to be discovered years later by a Hogwarts professor on holiday in the Ardennes. It's pretty cool. Just gonna keep sneaking by. 
Nothing to see here. Is there anything? It's like a puzzle room there. I still don't know how those puzzle rooms work, so we're just gonna keep on keeping on. I think we're good to go. Oh my goodness. All right. Well, Professor, or not, he's not a professor, Hello, groundskeeper. Moon. I have the moons you asked me to collect. Oh goodness, you're as fearless as I'd hoped. An excellent start. Uh, if we can collect more, it may shed some light on who's behind all this. Of course, I first suspected Peeves. He drove the previous caretaker, rancorous carp, to an early retirement with his intolerable buffoonery. But that does not explain the bogger in Oxmead, does it? No. I am determined, with your help, to discover the identity of my tormentor. Miss Hackett just- oh, they people just walked by. It's definitely intriguing. That's I'd close. like to help you solve this mystery. Uh, you, my friend, are a gentle person and a, a scholar. Not a gentleman? And I have something to offer in exchange for gentle your child? assistance. Now, remember, the moons are only retrievable at night. Thus, I encourage you to use a disillusionment when necessary. How many statues are there to find? I don't know precisely, but I've spotted dozens. Seems they're everywhere I look. Love how the portraits you in the background are telling us to for you. be quiet. If you were to ever unravel their meaning. Okay. What do you I get for it? offering something in exchange for my assistance. I did. Uh, once you've brought me enough moons, yes. I'll show you even more powerful forms of Alahamora. Not every lock is as easy to pick as the faculty towers. Perfect. Understood. I shall keep an eye out. I appreciate that. So I've seen these all over the place. I want to, um... Oh, I, I knew you were the one to ask for help. Uh, keep at it so we can solve this mystery. Will do. So if we... I, I, I know where we could find one. It was up in, like, the Divination Tower. It was, um, uh, Onai's. Miss Onai's class. So I think she had it on her desk yeah. or something. You mind if I just take this from you, ma'am? Thank you. Mind Appreciate now, it. Me, guys. I've also definitely seen one in Professor Fig's classroom. Got that. All right. I feel like we've seen at least three or four more. I can't think of them off the top of my head right now, but we now know anytime we see those, we just need to make sure that we uh, switch it to nighttime. It looks like we're going to need nine moons for Alohomora 2, and then we're going to need more after that for Alohomora 3. Which is pretty exciting. I really, I really want to get those very quickly. We do have some other missions popping up, though. Adelaide Oak seems worried about someone. I should speak with her. That's a side mission. We've got a friend indeed. Talk to Serona Ryan and the three broomsticks. We're going to get a conjuration spell craft. We've got the elf, the knapsack, and the loom. Deke wants to teach me how to use the knapsack to rescue magical beasts. And then we've also got in the shadow of the estate. This is going to be a main mission with uh, Sebastian. And I think we're gonna go meet his sister who's in, in bad shape. So I think if we continue along that, we're gonna learn dark magic, which we're definitely gonna do. But I kind of feel like this is more appropriate right now. Let's head back to our room of requirement. We're gonna be able to get some beasts. We went to beasts class earlier today. Go up here, this is our secret spots. Um, so yeah, we're gonna be able to introduce the vivarium to our room and then hopefully- Deek. Ah. Capture some beasts so as well. happy to see you. Deke noticed this bag in the room the other day. You must need it to help with your schoolwork. Deke has seen one of these before. Deke calls it a knapsack. So it's like Newt's briefcase. Perfect for gathering and transporting beasts. Hmm. Pleasant little breeze. I have been thinking about something Professor Howen said in Beast's class, that I should study as many beasts as I can on my own time. She also mentioned that poachers have been active in the area. So, perhaps the beasts will be safer with us than out on their own. Precisely what Deke was thinking. You see, the room knew exactly what you needed, and luckily, Deke can show you how to best use the knapsack and where. Perfect. Come We've on, come then. across a couple 
There was one, there was a Puffskeen one in the Forbidden Forest. Our first stop will be beyond the castle grounds. We can leave now, or you can come and find Deke when you're ready to go. I'm good to go. Let's do it. I'm ready to learn how to use the knapsack. Perfect. Deke loves an outing. I think we have to go to like the, the you know, main areas where they're located and capture them in those spots. I know a couple spots. We've got a couple unlocked so far. This is exciting. Our room is finally going to be close to complete. A nasty poacher. Deke hated working for him. He did horrible things to beautiful beasts. Oh. It was during those days that Deke first saw a knapsack. Uh, it'll be nice to see one used for good. Oh, we've got puff skins here. How you doing, fellas? You guys are cute. A little nervous, but cute. We have arrived. Deke enjoys coming here to watch the beasts, especially the puffle of puff skeins nearby. It will be nice to keep them safe. All you will need to do is get close, direct the open knapsack toward the puff skein, and in it'll go. All right. Okay. So do we put that on our... Yep. Rescue a puff skein. Revelio. Which one do we want to take? This one over here? Come here! You just got one. Do I want to get all of them? Settle yourself. I mean you no harm. Okay, I mean, it looks like we might need need to get ten. We got three so far. I'm, I'm just gonna keep. There's no puff skin that's safe from me. You will be my little puff skin fur creators. I'm gonna lock you away. You're never gonna see daylight again. I do kind of feel bad about this. We're taking them away to throw them in a vivarium. I guess it is better than getting caught by poachers, but it also kind of feels a little bit not right. Maybe we've got one more over here. Wonder if bigger animals like the there, there. I'm not going to hurt you. Like high wing, I wonder if we're gonna I have to do to like a, a harder You can rescue as many as the knapsack will hold. Poachers combo. capture puff schemes and well, Deke isn't sure what they do with them. Deke is certain they will be safer with you. Now, not all beasts will be as simple to rescue as a puff skein. Deke suggests you next find a beast that can fly. A jobbernol, perhaps. All right. Where would I find one? Deke knows of some to the west, nesting in a large tree overlooking Hogwarts. But we must be careful. Deke has seen poachers in the area recently. Deke will meet you there whenever you're ready. Okay. Sounds good to me. So we're... No other puffskeens around here? I don't think so. We're off! Look at this, man. Save the world one little creature at a time. Hello, Deke. Shall we continue? Oh, good. Deke was worried about you, what with all the poachers in the area. It's no Perhaps big deal, Deke. Work quickly. The jobbernals are just here in this large tree. If it's helpful, Deke has seen Levioso used to slow flying beasts. Easier to get in close and use the knapsack. Ah. Then I shall go and rescue a jobbernal. Good luck. Deke will be waiting. So Levioso is used to slow him down. I would think you could also use Arresto Momentum, right? Beast habitats can be found at different locations in the world. Wherever there's a beast habitat, you can be sure to find magical beasts nearby. So we want to find a jobbernal. Levioso. <laughs> we might. Ah, okay. So the harder. The harder creatures are going to have multiple button presses and probably differing button presses. Although so far they've all just been square. Those do go fairly quick. We've got eight out of ten so far. I don't know how many of each one we want to keep. I don't know if he's going to send us off on another one, but we'll see. 
get an XP for all this too. This is pretty good. I rescued a jobinol. Deke hopes your jobinol finds the knapsack nice and cozy. <laughs> Poachers want them for their feathers, and are not kind when they gather them. Are there any other beasts nearby? Just one that Deke knows of. A herd of moon calves. They live in a clearing of trees up this footpath. Dig will see you there. See? Good thing we didn't, uh... Grab this. Good thing we didn't fill up all of our slots. We've only got two slots left. Just up the footpath. Wish I could operate. Hello, Just like that. Is this that. the clearing you mentioned? It is. Moon calves gather near the large tree with the spiral pattern in front, but only under the light of the moon. So, unfortunately, unless you have a way to hasten time, you might sometimes have to wait until nightfall to see them. Oh, I've got just the plan. I shall go and find a moon calf then. Deke will be waiting for your return. If we go into our map, we can just wait till nighttime. And now we should be able to grab a moon calf. Wonder if we're gonna need to use Levioso on these guys. These are my favorite. These are so cute. We've got three. Just kidding. Ooh. You do cooperate, won't you? Levioso. That makes our life a little bit easier. Got him. I'll look after you. I'm gonna get one more here. Ooh, I like the white one with the stripes. Got him. Okay. And all of a sudden our nab sack is full. Gotta go unload it back <laughs> in our, uh, you know, unload our sack back in the vivarium, I think. It was a bit trickier than the others, but I have a moon calf now. Another beast, safe and sound. Shame we didn't see the moon calves dancing. It's a marvelous sight. Deke supposes you're finished here. He'll be able to rescue many more beasts, but for now, let's bring the ones you've gathered back to the room. All right. Deke will meet you back in the room whenever you're ready. There you are. Now, we need to show the beast you rescued their new home. But, um, not enough room to let them out here. Imagine all those beasts running amok. That wouldn't do at all. Perhaps if you focus on what your beasts need, the room will provide. Just like before. Close our eyes, think about it. Hmm, what exactly did you think of? Heavens! <laughs> Perfect. But what is it? Deke isn't sure. Only one way to find out. Meet you inside when you're ready. And just like that, we've got a vivarium where we can store all of our beasts. Look at this. It's amazing. Where are we, Deke? It seems to be a place for your beasts to live, a vivarium of some sort. Oh, your beasts will be quite comfortable here. They'll live healthy, safe lives. Perhaps you want to release them, let them see their new home. Okay. Tap R1 to open the beast management menu. Select a beast from the inventory to add. Beasts can be rescued from the highlands. Okay. And now we can take care of them, feed them, brush them, play with them. Deke thinks the vivarium will be a fitting new home for your beasts. Indeed. I only hope we'll have enough space for all of them. 
Deke hopes so, too. But if you do run out of room, Madam Peck at Brood and Peck in Hogsmeade will help to find safe homes for them. Any beasts that the room can't hold? Yes, she's well known for helping to care for beasts in need, and she'll give you a fair price for them. Speaking of care... She'll pay me? Beasts that are well-fed and groomed will provide you with valuable magical materials, such as puffskin hair, for example. If you gather some magical materials from your beasts, Dee can show you how to use if them. If she will Very pay well. me... I shall let you know when I have some. If, she, if she'll pay me for beasts, how am I any better than a poacher? Okay. Well, uh, we want to add our beast things back. So I'm going to say brush and feed. And brush them. Can brush them. Deke thinks you are doing good work here. Got this guy over here. Too far away. Go ahead and brush them. And then once those are done, we can feed you. Look at our little moon calf. That might be the cutest thing I've ever witnessed. You're pretty cute too, Mr. Puffskin. With your really weirdly long tongue. Give you some food? Do you like food? Looks like he likes it. Little sketched out, but he likes it. So we got some jobbernol feather, puffskin fur. And then we have mooncalf fur. And we're going to wait 25 minutes before we're going to be able to, you know, take care of them again. And we can get things where it automatically feeds them and I've brushes collected them. some magical materials, Deke. Like that. Now, Deke can show you how to use them. First, you'll need to use this spellcraft to conjure an enchanted loom. An enchanted loom? Exactly. It will allow you to use your magical materials to weave magic into the very threads of your clothing, making your clothing more useful in a variety of ways. This is what I've been looking forward Why to. Why don't you try it? Deke thinks you'll be impressed with what the loom can do. I'll go and experiment with the loom now. So we have to leave our vivarium. That is so cool. Now we're back here. Let me collect all of our plants. I haven't collected these in a while. Now we really need to make sure that we're always coming in and resetting all this stuff. So got all those. Now we are going to want to use our conjuring spell, which is down here. And we are going to conjure an enchanted loom right here. Gear features one primary offense and defense stat by default. Magical materials can be used with the loom to add an upgrade secondary stat or apply traits to your gear. Multiple small upgrades can yield a meaningful boost in combat power. New beasts can be rescued from beast dens or unlocked in quests. New trait recipes can be collected in bandit camps. So like our hat here, our stylish top hat, we can view the traits and we can create these traits. Oh, wow. So we can have amphibial protection, which is going to be decreased damage taken from dug bobs, increased damage with incendio, Concealed by illusion mints, taken from Inferi. Significantly increased damage with a Mandrake? Interesting. Okay, so I'm gonna put Scorching. And we've added a trait to it. We'd also upgrade, so with the Jobbernal Feather, we're gonna be able to upgrade the offense. And we can upgrade up to three times to be able to improve that piece of clothing. And then like our gloves here, we could view upgrades. Mooncalf Fur is going to add an extra four defense. Very, very cool. Okay, this this is this is big news. Let me see upgrades here. Job a little further. Nice. So it just, I mean, our, our, the I gear jumps. Up, I, I should show Deke. The gear jumps more when you just get better pieces of gear, but this is a way to minutely change it once you find something you like and make it even better. I use the enchanted loom, Deke. Wonderful. Will I be able to weave even more powerful magic into my clothing with the loom? You will, by rescuing even more powerful beasts. For now, however, Deed suggests you explore the vivarium and get to know the beasts you've already rescued. Can I use the loom to enhance any item of clothing? The loom will only enhance clothing They've of a certain quality. They've got to be legendary quality. or whatever. 
Deek suspects you'll find more valuable clothing as you explore. Perfect. Deek also knows that some of the shops in Hogsmeade can provide you with a variety of clothing for you to enhance. The rarer it is, the more upgrade slots they have. Thank so. you for your help, Deek. Better clothing, we're gonna be able to interact with more as we get better beasts. The upgrades and things are gonna be even better. Love how you can have duplicates, but there's a, a certain number of spaces. So currently we have 12 spaces that we can use. So we've got double of, uh, oh, look at this. It tells you when you can collect and things. Let me grab some more of that, grab some more of that, grab some more of that. And now they're all nurtured and we can wait. We can see the timing on it. Now these, I feel like we don't need this many puff skeins. That was kind of a mistake. Let's go over to Hogsmeade. Deke told us that Brood and Peck, which is going to be our beast shop. Hello. Hello. Oh, welcome to Brood and Peck. I'm Ellie Peck. And before you ask, I'm out of a Braxton hair. The That's lot okay. of it was bought up by a trader in Ottery St. Catchpole. Made me take it in person, they did. No care that I had to shut the shop. Apparently, had a bad experience with someone shipping them hair for my wampus cat. You're Must speaking have been a different language. from America, no doubt, because we don't even have a Mia. Anyway, what are you here for? Moon car fur? Derical feathers? I've already got Always those. I have trouble collecting them myself as the bird keeps disappearing. Cheeky thing. <laughs> Guess we don't have Derical feathers. Yeah. The shop Derical's. But people kept asking for their money back when they'd get home and the blasted things would be nowhere in sight. <laughs> That's kind of funny. I can imagine that would be rather frustrating. There's worse. Trust me. Most of the suppliers of whopper feathers may as well be living in St. Mungo's. Not surprising, I suppose. The crier knows things. Oh, but such marvellous feathers. <laughs> Almost worth going mad for. Sounds like stocking your shelves comes with some hazards. Truer words never spoken. I like her. Used to carry beasts themselves. Good business it was, but add it up to here with parents grumbling. Not my fault if the little ones caught a flea of an easel. Ooh, you should have heard them. No, <laughs> best with byproducts. And I do like to make sure the beasts are safe and well cared for. Couldn't guarantee that with some of these prospective owners. Now, why don't you have a good look around? Stocks change all the time, and not just because they disappear. Always best to pop in whenever you can to get things before they run out. <laughs> Which they used to literally do. <laughs> <laughs> thank you, I will. Take all the time you need. And thank you for stopping by. A treat to have you here. Okay. What do you have for sale? So here's the thing, I am a little bit- Now, what sorts of beast byproducts might you be looking to acquire? I'm a little bit conflicted. Wow, Thestral hair? Unicorn hair? Holy cow. A lot of these are going to be very important for upgrading our things. We can sell puff skeins for 120 each. I don't mind selling things for certain clients. You know where to find me. This is now easily our best way to make money, and I... I'll not mind seeing you here again. Consider yourself welcome. I don't know how I feel about that. I mean, it's... If they're finding a good home, is it better than going to the poachers? Yes. But the fact that we're going to go run around and take beasts from the wild, from their homes, we can't find our broom yet, to sell them, I don't know if that makes us much better of a, than a, a poacher is, but, I mean, you're always going to get his money. Let's, um, let's, I've, I've discovered a couple beast things. I know there was definitely one in the, um, Forbidden Forest. This is a puff skein den. We've got puff skeins there. Lots of puff skeins. They're easy to catch, and at 120 each, that's probably good. Giant purple toad den. Don't mind if I do. Leviosa. I think we need to get a uh, another set of spells. Got a giant purple toad. I wonder if these are going to be Revenue. worth anything. Second one up here. Got him. Professor Howell will never believe this. You know, I really hate to say this, but I bet Moon Cat. Catch. Or fetch. Oops, sorry. Levioso. Levioso. I bet they fetch quite a price, so I'm. They're so cute. You know, a lot of people would probably want these as a pet. I'm, I'm just going to grab a lot of these guys. Settle yourself. With no. Uh, I mean, you know, home. No regrets. 
When we were looking for trolls in the last episode, we found this whooper den. Levioso. These take four. Got him. We got lots of enemies around here, so we gotta be careful. If you walk towards them, it makes it a little bit easier. These are gonna be worth so much money, dude. We're, this this is great. I love how it keeps popping up. Beast rescued. Uh, no. Cash money is what it should say. Hold on a second. We've got it. Oh my gosh, a Niffler did. <laughs> this is amazing. Of course, they've got all the gold and riches in the world. I see you over there, Mr. Niffy. I'm not gonna do anything. I see a couple of you. Let me also. Let me capture you real quick. Oh, there are only three? I would have thought they would be like five or something. Professor Howard will never believe this. Revelio. I love that they actually have like gold we can take and stuff too. I'm sorry to steal your, your gold, little buddies. Where'd the other ones go? You're kind of a chunky one, aren't you? I kind of wish the mini game would pop up different things. Like, I, I feel like it should be fairly difficult. I'll look after you. To capture these Rebellion. things, but it, it makes it pretty dang easy. So I think our best bet is going to be to keep two of everything to start. Sorry if there's a smell. New batch of toad hide. No worries. I want to see what things bring, though. And we've got males and females. Does that mean we can breed? We're going to try to keep males and females of everything. So we've, we've got these two. 120 each. 120. 120. Everything's just 120. Okay. So I'm going to sell one Niffler. I'm going to have three different colors of Foopers. I guess the moon calves are male and female based on their colors. So these Foopers, the green is male. The pink is female. The blue is male. Actually, I think we only have six slots, so I'm gonna get rid of one of the, the green foopers. So we can throw all of these out. Oops, species limit reach, sell beasts at brood. Oh, you can only have four different types of species? I'm gonna take our puff skeins out then. I just don't really want them right now. I'd rather have the nifflers. Where's our other? I mean you no home. Puff skin. We'll hold on to these guys. Eventually, I think we're gonna be able to get a, a larger. Um, Bavarium, so we can we can worry about that later. But I'm gonna put our our Nifflers out for sure. These guys are just way too cute not to have. So let me uh, let me brush y'all up a little bit. He's laughing and coins are coming out. Or she? I think that's a, the female. Can we feed you. We can get some Niffler fur. Toad is over here. Brush you up a little bit, guy. You like that? Looks like you like that. Let me get in between all them crevices, baby. All those bumps on your back, probably kind of hard to get it yourself. And we can get some Toad warts. Perfect. That's what I wanted to collect. Their movements are so cool. Under the chin, can't forget that. This is amazing. This might be my favorite part of the game. This, that's some toad warts. 25 minutes on those. Wow. And the cool thing is, is you can conjure park benches and uh, dens and nests and things in here. We're gonna mess with that as time goes on. But this is pretty miraculous.